Black music means to me everything from the Chuck Berries and from the BB Kings and from the Little Richard. We reinvent and revolutionize from a different, deeper place. This is Jamel Davis. I manage G-Eazy, tour manager Drake, co-CEO and founder of the Rebels Group and also CEO of Big Juice Worldwide. Los Angeles, the city of angels shaped me, but I didn't understand or see color. I had a white best friend, Asian best friend, Filipino. It really shaped how multicultural and connected and comfortable I was with dealing with other people. At Republic Nightclub is where I met G-Eazy in 2007. One of the nights I was promoting that. G and I started off as friends. I had him on my radio show and it was like, oh shit, like a white boy who's dope, who raps, he has his touring coming up and he has like his black team. Boom, 2008 Voodoo Fest comes. So I, so I do the tour and then I also meet Tina Ferris, who's running Artist Relations. I was like, I know Nick Thomas, I go to school out here and just let me know whatever you need, I got you. About a week later, I get a call from Tina. She said, yo, I got a tour going out. Do you want to do it? I don't know if she's working for Wayne at this point. I take the gig, right? A few days later, she's like, yo, it's the Wayne tour. And I'm like, oh shit. She said, look, it's not a lot of money at all, but she said it's tons of experience. She etched that into my mind. I remember it was so much work. Tina was so tough and so patient. I'll never forget. I don't think if I hadn't gone to college in New Orleans, if I wasn't there for three years, I wouldn't have understood all those artists from New Orleans. I wouldn't have understood all of Wayne's cousins he brought along who were so New Orleans, but it was cool because I understood how to deal with them, their fucking accents, what they were referencing, this and that. And that's what I was used to dealing with. Like the first experience of racism that I had, I was the tour manager, but until that point, the production manager, everything, every, everything was black. And then the business got transitioned to new business managers. And there was much older white man that came in, much more experienced, and me just had come up with Wayne and Drake. That was my experience. I was not better at touring than them. I was not better at budgets than them or anything besides dealing with the culture. And at that point, I experienced not blatant, but like, we're over here, we have this experience, we've done this and that. And this is just like the young black kid who won't be around much longer. I don't think they expected me to be there the whole time. And as a 21 year old, you know, like I had to fucking grab on and grow and figure it out. I just want my legacy to be one of community, one of love, one of uplifting. I believe the better anybody does who came up under me, like I always say, your success will always equal my success. I look at Wayne and Drake. I look at Wayne and Nikki. I look at Wayne and everybody he's put on. Their success, that route, that route, that seed is him. This is Jamel Davis, and this is my rhythm and my blues.